Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 18.323. This is a 19H1 build on the fast ring. And uh, getting quite through these builds now. We're getting one a week at the moment. And they're in the middle of a bug bash. Microsoft are in the middle of a bug bash. Uh, which runs to from the 23rd of January up to the 3rd of February. And you can go to the feedback hub and uh, on your inside the machine and, and run through these various quests that will sort of challenge you and uh, test the functionality windows and then you can report any feedback on that. So what's new in this build? Well, uh, improved RAW support. So if you take pictures in the RAW image format and you want to natively support them with Windows 10, you can. The uh, 19H1, they've been working on, on that and they've got a new um, codec package that supports RAW. So let me show you that. So here the here is the um, extension that you can install and that has the raw support so i've got a, a device that has raw images uh, so i can't show you at the moment, at the moment but there is the um, the application that you can install this is took still a couple of known issues uh, with it as well uh, this is, i'll include a link on the blog post that goes along with this with the details but um exposing camera properties stored as exif uh, XMP metadata is not currently working in some image formats and there's a couple of other issues. Right, the rest of the changes are all fairly minor. They say, uh, Microsoft say, they've improved the uh, light theme in this build. Now, I've been using the light theme for some time now. I really actually really like it. They fixed an issue where the battery flyout might become readable in light theme. Um, I don't remember seeing that issue, but anyway, there it is working fine. They fixed an issue where the scroll bar flyout wasn't visible. They fixed an issue where the app autoplay icon and the system tray wasn't visible. Um, they fixed uh, ad adjustments with the uh, issues where light theme icons and notifications were not readable. And the updated settings icon is now dark grey in the taskbar when the light theme is enabled rather than black. Ooh. Let's have a look, see if that's the case. Okay, there you go. Dark grey rather than black. I don't know that makes a huge amount of difference. That is the main change. The rest are all minor fixes. They've um, got some. They've uh, fixed crashing is is issues with the update orchestrator service, where it stopped working uh, periodically, and you'd have an error with your Windows Update service saying it failed to restart, uh, and you had to go through and do start, and you had to go through and start and restart that way. Um, that they have fixed that and because I had that on two previous builds and that is now uh, fixed on there. Uh, they fixed an issue with quick actions, may not always work in Action Center. They fixed an issue with the volume mixer, link in the volume control may not always work. Let's have a look. Okay, so I can't see these v actual differences but it's working on there. They fixed some issues with MP4 and playback and so on. So there's not a huge amount. I'll include a full link on the blog post that goes with this on the digitallifestyle.com to to all all the fixes. There's still quite a lot of known issues with this build. Um, uh, the Windows Security app may uh, show an unknown status for virus threat protections or not refresh the area properly. Uh, launching games with anti-cheat may cause the uh, windows to crash. Creative X5 sound cards are not functioning properly. Actually, somebody asked me about that on YouTube, and uh, there you go. It's still not not fixed. Uh, night light is back, but you may find issues with blue light re um, reduction not working. Um, there's issues with USB as well. This probably should have been the top one. Uh, USB devices, including mice and keyboards, may no longer work after updating. Possible workaround of this is to change the USB plugged into or connect the device to a hub. So, if you find your keyboard doesn't work or your mouse doesn't work after rebooting, then they go. You may need to swap your devices around or use a hub. Um, there's still some issues with remote desktop display link and mirror cast when you're using AMD and, and Nvidia drivers, uh, but there is a, a registry fix for that. Um, so those are all the changes. It's not a not a massive change. A few bug fixes really. Uh, this is eighteen three two three. I expect we'll get we've got probably at least another month of or maybe slightly more of updates um, before until we get to the end of February or uh, March when they'll start getting the build version prepared with maybe a release in or in um, 
in April, but Microsoft haven't confirmed any of this yet. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. You can see more on our YouTube channel on the digitallifestyle.com.